Estonia has uh, given uh, um, different uh, type of uh, support to Ukraine. Of course, we uh, continue to support Ukraine politically. Estonia supports uh, Ukraine's uh, candidacy status, e um, EU candidacy status. Also, we uh, continue to give uh, humanitarian aid and uh, we also have uh, received already uh, more than 5,000 refugees to Estonia. At the same time, also, we um, uh, find it important to give uh, defensive equipment to Ukraine so that they could protect their uh, country in this uh, unjustified uh, war. As the rest of the world looks on in shock at the situation in Ukraine, for some countries, this fear hits home harder than others. Estonia is one of them. Bordering Russia and a member of NATO, they've had both had to plan support for Ukraine and defences of their own should Russia decide to attack further. Eva Maria Limitz is Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Estonia and she joins me now. Thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me. We've just heard the UK is going to up its financial support to Ukraine to 400 million since the crisis started. Um, do you welcome the financial su support being offered by your NATO allies to Ukraine and the wider region? Will it make a difference? Thank you very much for having me. And uh, of course, uh, the reason behind our conversation is very unfortunate and uh, it is totally unacceptable to see how Russia has started to invade its uh, sovereign uh, neighbor, uh, Ukraine. Uh, at the moment, uh, I am absolutely confident that uh, uh, we must continue to support uh, Ukraine in, uh, uh, in uh, many different ways. Politically, economically, we must continue with, um, uh, to give uh, humanitarian aid and also defensive means so that Ukraine could protect their uh, country. Also that uh, the refugees who are on their way out of the country also are supported. I mean, you're obviously a NATO country. What do you feel about the debate about creating a, a no-fly zone, which the Ukrainians keep calling for and, and, you know, we Western allies as such keep rebuffing? At the moment, uh, uh, of course, uh, it is important uh, to uh, make the difference uh, that NATO is uh, not uh, part of the uh, Part of the war, and uh, also is not uh, participating in um, uh, in supporting uh, militarily uh, Ukraine. At the same time, of course, we must find the ways internationally how we can help these uh, civilian people and also nuclear plants in uh, Ukraine, the safety of nu nuclear plants. Uh, therefore, uh, internationally, especially at the United Nations, uh, it is important to have this discussion how the international community could support of um, could support uh, end uh, this uh, war and uh, and also uh, whether there is opportunity for uh, no-fly zones uh, uh, at the UN level, agreed on the would, UN level. Would you be in favour of a no-fly zone, particularly when you're talking about things like these um, nuclear installations and so on that are under threat at the moment? I think that it is important to, to find uh, the solution uh, how uh, Russia is uh, not able to attack uh, civilians uh, nor the uh, nuclear power plants. Do you think that um, President, do, do you agree with Boris Johnson that, that P President Putin has seriously miscalculated over the invasion of Ukraine? Uh, you know, how are Estonians feeling about what's happening there at the moment? We in Estonia follow, with the, uh, follow these uh, developments with uh, great uh, concern. And of, of course, it is very unfortunate uh, that the international community was not uh, uh, strong enough uh, in uh, stopping uh, President Putin before uh, he started to invade um, uh, Ukraine. And this very unfortunate uh, war that we see at the moment on the ground must be stopped as quickly as possible. Therefore, I think that all these political decisions that have made by the like-minded countries over the last uh, 10 days are a very important uh, means for that. Do you feel uh, that Estonia has been issuing warnings about this for a lot longer than uh, you know NATO allies and, and nations like the UK have been responding? In a sense, do you feel that uh, you know a lot of action should have been taken some weeks ago, months ago, even years ago that that might have made a difference to President Putin's ambitions? 
Uh, here, yes, if we go uh, back uh, in the history, then uh, definitely after 2008, when Russia uh, started war against uh, Georgia, um, Western countries went too quickly back to business as usual. And we saw uh, another war in 2014. Uh, definitely there are lessons to be learned after these developments uh, to uh, help to avoid another war in Europe in the future. But of course, at the moment, we must, fo we must focus uh, to the current war in Ukraine and uh, help to uh, end this war first. I mean, people are saying, of course, you will never invade NATO. Is that how it feels in Estonia? Do you feel secure in your membership and that that will protect you? Estonia is a member of NATO since 2004. And uh, at the moment, we are really very thankful to all allies for uh, this uh, protection and security that we feel here in Estonia because we are a member of, of NATO and uh, we have... Uh, heard many of uh, NATO leaders confirming that every inch of NATO territory is uh, protected. And this kind of political uh, support and messaging is, of course, very important for us. And we very much look forward to upcoming discussions, particularly the upcoming uh, Madrid summit, uh, where we hope that uh, NATO confirms long-term strategy for strengthening NATO's uh, defense posture. Mm. And and you said that NATO still has a lot more to do when it comes to defending Ukraine. I wonder what you mean by that and, and what Estonia has been doing to help Ukraine more recently. Uh, Estonia has uh, given uh, um, different uh, type of uh, support to Ukraine. Of course, we uh, continue to support Ukraine politically. Estonia supports uh, Ukraine's uh, candidacy status, e um, EU candidacy status, also, we uh, continue to give uh, humanitarian aid and uh, we also have uh, received already uh, more than 5,000 refugees to Estonia. At the same time, also, we um, uh, find it important to give uh, defensive equipment to Ukraine so that they could protect their uh, country in this uh, unjustified uh, war. Uh, um, which was started by uh, Russia. Estonia has uh, donated the uh, uh, um, defensive equipment for more than 200,000, 200 million um, uh, euros, which is a very big uh, donation from our side. So we do uh, everything possible to support Ukraine in these uh, very difficult circumstances. Thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me. Eva Maria Limitz, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs at the Republic of Estonia. Thank you for joining me. On